What's up, friends? Welcome to your 29th Java tutorial for games uh, with me, Travis, and my bring back. Thanks again for subscribing and watching these. Definitely appreciate it. So, what we're going to do in today's tutorial is we're going to have our background cities, you know, scroll off to the left continuously, fluid motion, keep repeating, and there's no like uh, seams or anything like that. Um, so, we have all of our variables set up as you can see here. Um, I'm going to change just for example sake. I'm going to be running the applet a few times. I'm going to change this from 0.3 to be 3. And again, the reason we had these as doubles instead of ints um, is because if you know we had this 0.3, which is a you know kind of a slower uh, change in x, if we added that to zero, if these were ints, you know 0 plus 0.3 um, as an integer equation would be like, hey man, again. I don't want to deal with those decimals. I'm just going to have this be equal to zero. So we'd never actually get any movement if these were integer values. So that's why we have them as doubles. And then when we actually paint it, we cast in the double value as an integer value, and it works. So we already we already did the casting in the last tutorial. So don't worry about that. I just wanted to kind of explain why we have doubles here. Um, and now what we're going to do is jump into the animation. Uh, so let's run down to our run method within our thread and the first thing that I'm going to do is just set up you know our kind of our standard movement city x minus equals city dy or dx I'm sorry so now we have a little bit of movement let's see what this looks like and I'm going to be just kind of walking through everything here so oh what all right must not change this to point Let's not change this back. I'm going to change this to point 0.3, or I'm sorry, just 3. All right. I don't know if I said that. I think I did. It's getting kind of late. I'm tired. I kind of forget to do things like that. But as you can see, our image jumps off to the left of the screen and just keeps running. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm Gandhi. Peace, suckers. And, uh, you know, that's not really good for a game. So the first thing that we're going to do is we want it to, you know, jump back over to the right side of the screen. So let's go into a run statement again where we just were, and we're going to set up an if statement. So we're going to say if city x um, is greater than uh, get width, and this will return the width of our applet again, 800 times a negative 1. So it's going to be a negative, negative 800. Um, we will move it to the left a little bit. So again, our city starts at the top left top left corner at zero zero and then it move, subtracts one or actually subtracts three as of right now each time it updates so we will get like negative ten negative you know eventually we're gonna go lower than negative eight hundred and if that's the case we're just gonna set up our else statement to be uh, set to zero so we're gonna say city x equals zero and let's check that out see how that looks so as you can see, we have their city jumping off or going to the left, but we still have this gap there. Um, but it does reappear on the right side. But we need to fill in this gap. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to create the same image, um, and we're just going to paint it twice. Um, so basically creating a twin of this background image. And speaking of twins, I have a before we jump back into this, I just have a random question for you guys. But if there's like Siamese twins, right? You know, like conjoint twins that are born and they are like joined at the like, the limb and they cannot be separated uh, you know if one of them commits like murder and the other like half of them is like no man don't do that don't kill that person and tries everything they can to get you know their twin to not commit the murder what would happen like how would they punish you know the twins cuz one killed someone and the other one was like trying to do everything he could not you know, trying to get his twin not to kill the person. Like, you know, that, what, what would happen? I don't know. So leave like a comment because I'm curious what you guys think. So that's kind of a weird, uh, you know, thing to be talking about in programming tutorials. But anyways, let's jump back into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to now scroll down to our paint method. Um, and we're just going to try and fill in that space. So we have our paint method right here where we drew our image, we're just gonna copy this whole thing and we're gonna paste it right below and instead of the X being you know, the same position as right here, 
we're going to add you know the width of our applet so it's going to basically be painted 800 pixels off to the right of our first image of our city um, and this is where the tile mapping comes in you know uh, that we did a couple tutorials ago so we're just going to say get width and uh, there we go I, I believe we should be finished let's run this make sure everything works and we have a nice fluid background moving pretty quickly right now I'm gonna change this to be a speed of 0.3 but as you can see we don't have any you know kind of messed up uh, seams or like there's no empty space so that's perfect that's what we want and again like I said I'm gonna change my speed to be 0.3 so our background moves a little bit. Whoa, what was that? That was a different applet I had up. This is the one we were just at. So don't think I, you know, messed up or anything. So uh, this is what uh, the speed is going to be set at for me. But obviously, you guys can do whatever you feel uh, makes the game better or worse. So um, there we go. We kind of have our scrolling background. And uh, catch you in the next tutorial. Peace. Hey thumbs this up.